Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, so I actually finished watching season four, part one of Stranger Things some time ago, but it took me a while to do this, uh, you know, a review. Now I already did a non-spoiler review for episode one and two. If you missed it, I'll place the link in the description. Uh, also, the video will be appear at the end of this video. Uh, now with respect to this video, this is just, you know, a few thoughts I had about the entire part one. First and foremost, I enjoyed part one of season four and I'm looking forward to part two, just like every Stranger Things fan saw. Out there it was absolutely entertaining in fact it was binge watchable level of entertainment you know you couldn't stop once you started now having watched episode one to seven and you know having some time to sort of think about it you know the story so far my main question was you know where is it all going you know what's the point because if you think about season one two and three you know they are sequential as in each story leads to the other now if you come to season four what's really happening here or what is the sequence of the story yes we saw changes in the lives of our protagonists as well as you know other minor characters there have been certain changes in their lives good but in terms of the upside down right or the antagonist or the big bad guy it's just like every other season there's a bad guy or a villain or a evil entity in the upside down universe our uh, group of protagonists or kids have to uh, save the world or stop the bad guy from <laughs> taking over the world it's the same thing the difference being in season one two and three there was a sequence of events right will goes missing they discover the up upside down season two will still has a certain part of that uh, demigorgon inside him uh, season three mind flare the big bad you know uh, sort of wants to take over the world World, you know trying to get out of the upside down or you know all these elements going on so there is a continuation over there in terms of story in terms of character in terms of the main plot you know the villain uh, being the major part of that main plot so here uh, what happens suddenly we are introduced to a new bad guy fair warning this video will have a few spoilers so if you haven't watched season 4 part 1 please go check it out and then come back it'll be more fun to sort of sit back and listen to my rant once you know the whole story now coming back to my little rant um, what's happening here with season 4 part 1 we introduced to a new villain Venka uh, at the end of episode 7 we find out who Venka is how Venka came to be who's Henry Creel son of Victor Creel who we initially thought was the murderer so Henry Creel as a child had powers and he's the uh, first inmate or uh, first patient uh, or patient number one uh, in the Hawkins lab and Henry with all his powers wants to take over the world because he believes humans are not worth uh, the existence uh, you know they don't have powers their uh, existence is meaningless etc etc reasons uh, and you know sort of Eleven sort of banishes him or you know pushes him into uh, at the upside down and we see his transformation and he becomes Venka very interesting visually it's very cool to watch uh, you know story wise also you know it's a big suspense big reveal that they're building towards uh, all very good uh, here's the question where was Venka during the events of season one two and three <laughs> I mean there was a lot that happening uh, during those three seasons so where did Venka come from is that something I missed let me know in the comments you know I would love to uh, know because I kept thinking to myself you know uh, I mean, if there isn't a proper explanation, no, it feels really forced. And that's my point over here also. Where are they going with this? Because if they, you know, it suddenly seems like the Duffer brothers thought, okay, we want a new season. We want a new bad guy. So, okay, we'll go with number one, Henry Creel, Victor Creel, Venga. Okay, very interesting. Yes, I am absolutely had fun with the season. You know, it was interesting. Uh, visually, it was spectacular to watch on screen. Uh, but again, you know, you can't help but feel like this feels a little forced. I mean, if they were going into the area of sort of the origin of the upside down, how, because I initially, when I was watching the episode, right, when Eleven is sort of blasting him into the upside down, I kept thinking initially, oh, did Eleven create upside down accidentally through her powers or something? Uh, you know, that would have been interesting. I thought, is that is that what happened? Uh, but I don't think that's what happened. I think she just blasted him into this uh, another universe. Uh, and we saw him transform and things like that uh, but again you know if this guy was there and this guy had all this power you know what was he doing uh, that's a big question uh, at the end of uh, in episode 7 but then let's you know again there is part 2 so maybe you know they might give an answer to that or maybe they might not who knows uh, the point over here is that if they don't it feels incredibly forced it you know it kind of brings like you know we wanted a new season uh, so you know we wanted a new villain or they could you know go into a direction that kind of you know when they initially during the uh, promos and everything they said beginning of the end you know that was kind of the uh, big message they put out there so 
is this some way to sort of rewrite past because there is that whole uh, you know uh, and i think it was an episode 5 uh, or 6 where 6 uh, i think yeah nancy uh, steve and all these people uh, they go into the upside down right and uh, nancy picks goes into her room looking for a gun and she sees the diaries from her past and she sees that the date in the diary reflects the date from 3 years ago so she says that in the upside down uh, the current uh, year is like 3 years ago from what from where from their present which means uh, especially she sees the date and say this is the date when will uh, was taken away or will disappeared into the upside down so is this an attempt to sort of rewrite everything you know so to, to sort of say like oh none of this ever happened um, maybe to save 11 because 11 has been through a lot you know uh, you know lot of trauma lots of uh, bad memories lots of difficulties uh, we see that you know she still has memories and difficulties related to her mother uh, also the kids i mean it's not that they faced they had their own challenges and things like that uh, so is this the duffer brothers sort of looking at uh, you know the sort of the ra- purpose of out of venka is to sort of rewrite the past you know that's that's the question i have in my head uh, you know i keep thinking about what else is the reason for suddenly introducing this villain yes i get it they want to do a new season so obviously they've had discussions with netflix and said oh we can introduce a new villain blah 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 story ideas uh, but again you know usually with a story because i felt like you know the story with 11 and the kids and everything that they started it kind of ended with season 3 uh yes hopper disappeared at the end of it and he went into russia but he if he hadn't gone into russia and they, if they had decided yeah we can stop the story there you know they kind of completed the story with season 3 a uh, four i feel like it's a new chapter altogether you know it's like they're trying something different over here and maybe the purpose of that new chapter is sort of either rewrite everything that happened or you know provide a very conclusive end to the story uh, but i am still you know unsure about this new villain venka or the purpose it serves to the story um uh, having said that you know i also i also have my questions about uh, that uh, time difference uh, why is it that when these kids they go into the upside down why is it 3 years in the past over there i i didn't get that um yes of course you know if you're going into another you know they describe it what a uh, a rip in space and time right they're going into another dimension another universe so it's, there's a rip in space and time so a difference in time i i mean from i guess uh, if you think back to some of the christopher nolan movies you know especially interstellar <laughs> you know there is that discussion about gravity and how it can affect time uh, but you know stranger things is not that you know it's highly it's it's pulp fiction at its best you know that's how i describe uh, stranger things uh, you know they they haven't really gone into the science of all of this you know they've really looked at the the uh, fiction side of it you know uh, dungeons and dragons they've taken that concept they've taken the names of those villains and uh, you know scary uh, objects and things over there and you know they try to use that so it's more of pulp fiction over there that's what i feel like so i don't think they'll go into the science uh, so the purpose of that 3 year gap you know what is that you know is there something to it is there a reason behind it uh, i don't know hopefully we'll find out in uh, part 2 uh, except uh, there are only two episodes in part 2 <laughs> how many how much information can they convey you know along with that they have to i sort of give an end to the story right to venka uh, no idea uh, duffer brothers also said that you know they'll probably end with season 5 so we can definitely expect a season 5 and there are chances that season 5 also can be split into two parts uh, you know if there are eight or nine episodes they can do like yeah i don't uh, four episodes four episodes four or five episodes things like that uh, and also netflix is kind of losing uh, their subscribers it was in the news so they'll probably try to split it into two chapters or two parts uh, they did that with this you know but again it feels a little strange also they did they released seven seasons the seven episodes in one go and then two episodes will release in july first uh, i don't know they they probably could have uh, you know released two parts i think uh, i don't know how much information they can convey in just two episodes 
but given the fact that you know each episode in uh, part one was like what one hour 15 minutes long anyways there's a lot to look forward to and you know i can't wait for uh, part two on july 1st i just hope i just hope you know they give a you know th there's a point to all of this you know if there is a point you know it's a it becomes a well thought out story and a you know a well uh, crafted ending to that uh, particular story and you know it, they were able to connect it with the previous seasons as well you know otherwise you know it becomes a little forced where it's like oh venka was here all this time but you know he chose not to act and now he has decided to act okay uh, i don't it, it's it would stream really strange to me so <laughs> stranger things <laughs> anyway uh, so i hope you know they give a you know proper uh, there's clarity to that you know or there's a purpose to uh, this villain and where the story is going uh, you know those are some of my thoughts uh, you know please share your thoughts in the comments below i would love to read them and if you like this video hit the thumbs up icon and of course subscribe to my channel for more videos and uh, reviews like this thank you guys for watching have a great day bye